Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien filling in for my dad, Tom O'Brien. He's out today. He'll be back tomorrow. And we got markets right now. Slightly mixed. We got the S&Ps off by 11 points. We make a high of 57.98. S&Ps close at record territory yesterday. We're about 11 points off that price level right now, or about two tenths percent in the red trading at 57.79. NASDAQ 100 in the green. By 20, you got the Dow. Negative by about 7 tenths percent or 284 points in the red. You see the slide in the Dow. This is a five-minute chart we're looking at. From 42.6 and change down to 42,313. We're as low as almost 42,200 in the last couple hours. And you have the Russell off by about 1% right now. As I mentioned in that 3 o'clock update, how about the dollar, right? You talk about some strength, man, and not really hitting gold just yet. Dollar reaches almost 101 from 100.30 today. Quite an acceleration, to put it lightly. And in that time frame, we've seen yields rise a little bit, right? We had 9 o'clock, not really, trying to find a reason that dollar, but pretty remarkable that no reaction to the gold contract considering. Now, yes, there's been some reaction, but not really. You've seen that pullback from 26.92 down to 26.74 on that dollar strength. But just like that, we're right back to where we were at 9 a.m. this morning when the dollar was a lot weaker than it uh, is right now. Pretty interesting. You got silver. Off by 29 cents, trading at 32.14. We're as high as 32.61 yesterday. My dad had a great interview with Fred Ernest from Vista Gold yesterday. If you didn't check that out, you can always find that right on our YouTube page. Uh, and he asked Fred about even silver, right? Silver, its uses, um, excuse me, its performance versus gold recently. And one of the things he talked about, you know, silver, it's got... Um, a lot more practical applications, even than gold. But if you want to check that out with Frenners from Vista, right on our YouTube page, just search TFNN, folks. You can find it. And yeah, let's jump around to what we got going on today. And we're going to kick things off with Meta. So Meta up by 1.8%. We hit a high of 576.88. And for some context here, we're at 88 bucks less than two years ago. You back it up even further than that. We peak out at a high of 388. On the highs of 2021 with the market, you trade lower, and boy, it is quite a run, man. You're talking about record highs today. We're trading right now at 573, and as I mentioned, you were size 576.88, and they've got an event going on. And what are they talking about? They're talking about virtual reality. They're talking about glasses. They're talking about the future. Meta unveils $299 Quest 3S VR headset. And uh, the glasses, a little bit more intriguing on my end. Everybody knows that they make a Quest. I've talked about it, talked about it. I got a Quest for Christmas. I think it was almost two years ago right now. I want to say it was Christmas 2022. Yeah, which would have been about a couple years right now. And it's pretty cool. I talk about it. It's pretty cool. Um, but how do you create the revolution right and that's what they failed to do so far nonetheless they're bringing the price back down now what's interesting is when i got it it was 299 it was a decent deal it's christmas whatever they jacked up the price to 499 i remember saying geez that puts in a little bit of a different price bucket when you think about i don't have any real use for it it's pretty cool i got it for a present folks but 500 dollars uh let alone the apple's 3500 hundred dollar apple vision pro headset but yeah they're going to launch a new version at 299 it's going to go on sale october 15th and that's going to be down from their 499 price point 65 billion dollars right they acquire oculus quest in 2014 and they have poured 65 billion dollars into expenses in its hardware efforts and he's had to defend that what's even more interesting though i think is that the glasses nobody's going to want to hear where these headsets around folks nobody uh you put it in glasses it's going to be pretty cool uh they're going to have a few more now these are ray Ban, ray ban right you, you pair up with the right partner man Ray-Ban sunglasses, and they've already sold 700,000 of them. I'm trying to find exactly where they said it. I'll pull it up. And they're going to have new versions here. Early concept of what those glasses could look like. Called Orion. Won't be sold to consumers, but Meta says they'll be used internally. I mean, that's where it's coming, man. The glasses are the deal. Meta does sell a pair of glasses with built-in camera. Yeah, and they did a deal with Luxottica, Ray-Ban Meta, 299, announced in 2023. And I talked about these earlier in the week on my program. 730,000 units they've sold. Nobody even knows about them, right? A million units almost they've sold of those Ray-Ban Meta glasses. That's the future, man. You're going to have, you know, no one's going to be able to see that you're overlaying holograms 
over reality, augmented reality. Nonetheless, the market likes what they're talking about today. You got Meta shares up by 1.6% right now. You jump over to NVIDIA shares. Quite an acceleration for them yesterday, extending those gains today up another 2.2% to 123.49. You were up to 124 yesterday. Talked about on my program this morning. We were at 116 on Monday, late yesterday, excuse me. We were at 116 early yesterday. NVIDIA has 25 billion shares outstanding, folks. 25 billion. You're up $8 and change from the lows of just yesterday morning, which is $200 billion in market cap added to this equity just in the last 24 hours or so. Pretty remarkable when you talk about that company. You got Microsoft out there up by about six tenths percent today, trading at 431. Google shares slightly in the red. We jump over to Apple, the big dog, down by 1%, trading at 225. We check in on Amazon shares, down about a half a percent right now to 193 for Amazon. And we check back in on that gold contract, sitting at 2685. And boy, it is pretty remarkable. You take a look at gold. You put that thing on the weekly, and we're almost extending to a completion of a of an A to B, C to D formation, though. You know, your run starts at about 2,000. You trade up to 2400 you consolidate for a period of about three or four months, and then what have we done? Well, depending on where you take that acceleration, you could make the case that 2300 to 2700 would be another 400-point run. If you're taking that leg from 400 yeah, we're at 2700 man. Pretty remarkable, that run beginning just at the end of February and the beginning of March when you had gold sitting just above 2000 Pretty remarkable. And we check back in on the dollar. Because, yeah, you talk about it, man. Look at these bars chopping around. Volatility following the Fed last week. We're sitting at 100.91. And as I mentioned, we get the 10-year yield right now climbing to 3.79 now. 3.79, the yield on the 10-year. We got Micron with their earnings after the bell today. So this will be an interesting one. We've traded higher this week with the market. Not Micron up by 1.3% right now. You jump over to the Analyze tab. We take a look at the options, and what are we pricing in? What are we? What is the market pricing in? The market's pricing in $9.62 of volatility in either direction by Friday's close. That is a 10% move, and most of it having to do with their earnings after the bell tonight. Micron, we'll see where they go. They're up by 1.3% today, though. And uh, stay tuned, folks. We're going to be coming back. We'll come back with our man, Elliot Wallenbach. We'll be talking to him, senior. Um, Vice President with Direction. We'll talk some markets. We'll talk some gold. Stay tuned. We'll be right back, folks.